Hey y'all and welcome back to our channel and welcome back to Fall Food Friday. This will be the last Fall Food Friday in this collab with Moss Family TV. Today I will be sharing a pumpkin pie twist. This is the first time I've ever made this. Could have turned out much better but it still turned out delicious. I hope you enjoy. Just as a special treat as well, I'm gonna go ahead and throw in a taco ring recipe. So tonight's the night of crescent roll recipes. First, we're gonna preheat our oven to 375 degrees. Here's all the ingredients you will need for taco ring. One pound of ground beef, two cans of crescent rolls, one taco seasoning packet, the Taco Bell is my favorite, sour cream for topping, cheese for topping as well as in the roll, tomatoes, and lettuce for also the topping. First you're going to spray your pan, then you're going to take both crescent roll cans and separate every one of them into triangles. You're going to use the fat part of that triangle to create your circle. Now that the hamburger is done, I'm going to add the taco seasoning with just a little bit of water and spoon that over the crescent rolls.
Now I'm going to sprinkle cheese over the taco meat. Next, we're going to fold all the triangles over, making sure we have a nice seal. This is the taco ring after cooking for 25 minutes in the oven. It turned out perfect. This is one of my all time favorite meals and the original recipe was Pampered Chef. Here's everything you're going to need. One can of crescent rolls, half a cup of pumpkin puree, one quarter cup of brown sugar, one tablespoon of maple syrup, one teaspoon of pumpkin spice, two tablespoons of melted butter, one tablespoon of sugar, and half a teaspoon of cinnamon. So first you're gonna preheat your oven to 375, but since that's what we used before for the taco ring, it's already preheated for us. So next we're gonna mix the pumpkin puree, brown sugar, maple syrup, and pumpkin spice in the bowl. This is already smelling just like pumpkin pie. Alright, now after that is all mixed, we're going to roll out our dough and cut it in half so we have two perfect squares. So one half aside for now. I'm going to put these together and pinch everything together to get one square. 
with no creases. That way nothing will seep through to the bottom. Now we're going to spread our pumpkin mixture all over this bottom layer. And now we're going to add our top piece. We're going to stretch this out and pinch these seams as best as we can. Now what we're going to do is melt our butter. And it did call for two tablespoons, but what we're going to do is just measure with the heart and get this melted for just a few seconds. mixed up and we're gonna brush this on top all right then we're gonna take our sugar And our cinnamon and this we're gonna stir to make a cinnamon sugar to go on top Just gonna sprinkle this all over. Now what we're gonna do is cut these and I'm gonna use a pizza cutter just to make this a little easier. And we're just going to cut them in strips. Then 
Then we're going to take them one by one. And we're just going to twist from both ends. Now I'm going to go back in here with just a little more of the cinnamon sugar and dust the bottoms that were just crescent roll with nothing on them. In my opinion, you can never have too much cinnamon sugar. Now they don't look that pretty, but let's hope they turn out great. So now we're going to put this in the 375 degree preheated oven for 8 to 11 minutes. Here's how the pumpkin pie twists turned out. Again, they're not that pretty, but they are delicious. And the recipe did recommend to dip them in Cool Whip if that's what you like with your pumpkin pie. I hope y'all enjoyed these recipes and let me know if you make them and leave me a comment down below, like this video and subscribe if you're new. Thanks y'all and have a great weekend.